More than a dozen members of a ruthless statewide gang, including some of its top leaders, are now in jail. Today, Polk County Sheriff Grady Judd announced the results of a year-long joint operation targeting the sex money murder gang. 10 Tampa Bay's Eric Glasser has more on the racketeering charges some of the group's top members now face. Yeah, law enforcement usually shies away from using a gang's name. They don't like the idea of glorifying the criminals. But in this case, Polk County Sheriff Grady Judd said he was willing to make an exception after a year-long effort that dismantled the hierarchy of the sex money murder gang. If they're not in prison, they're robbing, shooting, and killing. Sheriff Judd announced 41 people have now been charged or arrested as part of a year-long joint operation targeting the sex money murder gang, a group so violent, their arrests so urgent, he said, that Florida's Attorney General, FDLE, and Department of Corrections all committed resources. This gang is particularly dangerous and insensitive to human life. Sex money murder thought they were a very good gang, but I can assure you the folks back there and up here, we're a much better gang. Investigators showed us some of what they seized, drugs, weapons, and other contraband. With information gathered through state-authorized wiretaps, 12 of the group's highest-ranking members also face enhanced racketeering charges. Our goal is that they never breathe air outside of a prison again. Investigators say the majority of the gang's members are young, some just teenagers, often groomed and recruited while behind bars for other crimes. <laughs> Video of a drive-by shooting just this week near Lakeland, they say, demonstrates the kind of brazen, violent behavior these sorts of gangs are committing. We're not going to allow kids to shoot up each other or shoot up neighborhoods. It's just not happening. Sheriff Judd says by disrupting the sex money murder gang in Florida, it'll give them a chance to expand their investigation. Prosecutors say with the information they've already gathered, they anticipate more charges and more arrests. And Sheriff Judd also told us that during the course of the year-long operation, they formed a gang task force working with other local police agencies. He says that team has already made several other arrests.